January 16th, 2015. My name is Jason Bunn Parsons and I'm an autistic self-advocate. Um, last Saturday we had an organizational meeting for an autism um, um, social and networking group and I intended to, um, to record it and put it online. The problem was that I forgot to put my battery, um, my, my, um, my video camera on the battery charger and so it didn't work. And on top of that, I also intended to do a call-in, you know, because the facilities, um, Arizona Bridge Independent Living, um, you know, the, their facilities have a, a, a call-in um, feature, so that way people can call in uh, to do conference call and we could not get that to work either. So basically the meeting was one great big techno failure from the word go. But in any case, the meeting went on and, um, you know, and uh, I definitely had to, you know, persevere, you know, through the, you know, through all this, you know, difficulties in order to hold the meeting, you know, and, um, it, but, you know, but nevertheless, it did, you know, things did work out, you know, and, and it's, in, and it's important for me to, um, to bring this up because I know that the people there at the meeting, you know, they, you know, they talk about how great it was and everything. But I'm wanting to bring this up because of the fact that, you know, I was diagnosed in 2009, you know, with autism, and um, and once I started joining, you know, started attending meetings, I started learning about how autistics cannot possibly handle adversity. They cannot handle stress. You know, if when things start going wrong, they need second and third party interventions and or medications. And I'm like, excuse me, but 20 years ago, I started going through a 12-step program for codependency in which I learned all these skills. And now you're telling me that I can't do these skills even though I proved 20 years ago that I can do these skills. You know, and, um, and so, um, so basically, you know, one of the reasons, you know, one of the things I wanted to point out, you know, start off, you know, before we even start talking about what happened at the meeting is, is talk a little bit about why it wasn't a complete failure, okay? And the reason why it wasn't a complete failure is because, you know, like I said, you know, I had, you know, the, the, um, the, the, you know, the ability to persevere, you know, um, throughout the entire meeting, you know, I definitely felt like I was just basically doing an info dump, you know, just dumping all this information, which is something public speakers aren't supposed to come across as doing, you know, it, you know, rather than actually, you know, presenting the information that I prepared in a cohesive manner, you know, it, you know, I just really wasn't in, you know, yeah, in some, um, you know, just what was never in the group, but that was okay because, you know, you know, uh, because, you know, like I said, you know, you know, it, it led to something completely different than I intended, and, um, and, you know, nevertheless, you know, you no know, bottom line, so you know, did I fulfill the, the objective, which was for us to dialogue about these issues? The answer was absolutely yes. Now, um, you know, and, um, and, you know, and one of the reasons why I was able to, you know, seem so effortless in dealing with these struggles, I'm sure that almost nobody in the room realized how much I was struggling, when the reality, you know, I, I was struggling a bit, and the reason why I was able to do so good is because this isn't the first time that I've had this situation happen. Um, back in April of 2011, you know, um, our group did a autism conference, and, um, and so I was the, um, the the lead speaker, and, um, and you know, what happened was this same techno nonsense, couldn't get the overhead projector to work, and and I spent, and plus also, we, my mom and I show up to set up and the brand new fire alarm that they're just installing into the church is malfunctioning. And so, um, and so basically all my preparation time, you know, you know, mental preparation to get myself into presenting my information was spent fighting with technology. And so, so I show up, you know, so it's my, so it's time to start the conference. I get up to the podium and my brain is just spinning out of control. And, and, um, and first thought is, you know, in my head, I'm in trouble. The second thought was to take a deep breath and, and, and then just start, you know, working my way through it. You know, first thing I did, 
you know, what was remembered that this motto that I learned in the 12 steps is, you know, all you can do is all you can do, and all you can do is enough. And, it, and just accepting the fact that, you know what, I'm going to do the best job I can, and however the results is, it's going to be okay. You know, and then the second you know, thing that I you know, came to my mind was, was what I referred to as my personal pep rally Bible verse, which is Romans 8.28, all things work together for good to them that, that are called by the Lord, and to them that love the Lord and are called according to His purposes. You know, and so, yeah, you know, and so, you know, after, you know, uh, I, I got myself settled down just enough to where I could start Legoing my way through the situation. Now, what do I mean by Legoing? You know, I'm one of these kids that love Legos, and sometimes, you know, I would just grab a, a handful of Legos and just start putting them together by random, and, and as I start doing, as I start doing that, you know, something would start taking shape, and then at that point I start, you know, looking for specific pieces to add on to it, and, and it winds up becoming something when at, when at first it, I, it was just a bunch of random stuff. And so basically, you know, that's kind of what I did, is I just blurted out the, the, the first thought that came to my mind, and I just went with it, and eventually all of the preparation that I made in the months prior as far as, you know, what I wanted to present started to take hold and I got into a groove and um, and things worked out great and so um, it's so so um, so you no know, so uh, I'm so I'm wanting to start off this first video you know is you know before I actually talk about you know all the things that was actually discussed you know it is is you know is taking the opportunity to realize that hey you know what things went completely wrong from the word go and and I was really frustrated but I didn't have to throw in the towel. I didn't have to run away. I didn't have to cancel the meeting. I didn't need second or third parties to intervene on my, my behalf. I didn't need to take medications. Now, I realize that there are some autistics in certain situations that are going to need these. Okay? But at the same time, not needing them is far more liberating than needing them. Okay? Because what happens if you don't have the accommodations? You don't have the second or third party to intervene on your behalf. What do you do? You run away. I didn't. And um, in most cases, I don't. There are certain, there, there have been rare occasions where I've had to remove myself from an environment because, you know, because, you know, just a lot of things building up and I just had to. So, you know, I'm not, you know, saying that it's never necessary. I'm not judging those who um, do utilize these accommodations when they feel it necessary, but at the same time, I would encourage autistics to open up their minds to the possibility that maybe they can learn skills that would allow them to, to persevere through these situations instead of having to run away from them or to look to somebody else to come and solve our problems for us. You know, just open yourself up to the possibility that it might be possible. I'm not saying, you know, to go cold turkey, I'm not saying dive into the deep end. You know, to learn how to swim, I'm saying learn how to swim in the shallow end. You know, you know what? You know, with the, with your parent right, right there or friend or whatever, safety nets, all that you know stuff. You know, whatever you know analogies you want to use, but just try. You know, with all the safety nets involved, you know, shallow in the pool, friend, you know, right there to grab you, floaties, whatever analogy you want to use. You know, have you know have them on and then just try see what happens. In my case, you know, last Saturday, you know, the, you know, the meeting went on and was, ve and was very productive in spite of the problems that I had and, and so it is possible. You know, just give yourself the benefit of the doubt. So in the next video, I'm actually going to be discussing, you know, you know what's um, each individual member actually got out of the, the meeting, you know, uh, how, it, how, how the meeting benefited each of the individual uh, members that attended.